Hi friends. Today I would like to read the book Matta, written by Helen V. Griffith and illustrated by Nancy Tafuri. Natta was usually good, but one June day she wasn't. She tangled the spider's web, spoiling the design. She climbed the flower stems and shook out all of the bees. She pulled the garter snake's tail. Ignore her, advised the toad. That's easy to say, said the spider. It's not your web. And it's not your tail, sniffed the snake. What's wrong with Natta anyway? asked the bees. First day of summer, said the toad. That's what's wrong with Natta. No, it's not said Natta. She sneaked up on a sleeping cricket and tied its feelers in a knot. The deer mouse and her babies were watching from the doorway. Natta made faces at them. She usually plays games with us, said the baby mouse. And calls us darlings, said another baby. She will tomorrow, said the toad. No, I won't said Natta. You see that up there? There's Natta. Natta picked up a pebble and threw it into the pond. The fish all darted under lily pads. Just then the toad called out, Natta, the cat! Natta whirled around. Scat! She said. The cat took a slow step forward. Natta took a step backward. Fly, Natta! squeaked the mice. Fly, Natta! hissed the snake. Why doesn't she fly? buzzed the bees. The cat crept forward. Natta stepped backward. I can't look! said the spider. The cat leapt. Natta jumped back. She slipped into the pond with a tiny splash. The cat scooped Natta up with his paw, spinning her out of the pond and across the grass. The toad plopped on top of her and glared at the cat. Brute, she said. The cat tried to look under the toad. I dare you, said the toad, puffing herself up. The cat paused, then stalked out of the garden, looking bored. Natta crawled out from under the toad. Ugh, she said. Is it over? asked the spider. The deer mouse brushed at the wet leaves and grasses that clung to Natta. Such a mess, she said. It could have been worse, said the toad. The spider slid to the ground and ran to Natta. Why didn't you fly, she cried. Yes, Natta, asked the snake. Why didn't you fly? Natta looked at them mournfully. I can't, she said. Can't fly, gasped the bees. It happened this morning, said Natta. My wings don't work, and they hurt.
Nata buried her face in the mouse's fur and began to cry. Don't cry, Nata, said the mouse, patting her gently. Don't cry, Nata, said the baby mice, one after another. The cricket woke up. Is Nata crying? he asked. The bees hovered around Nata, examining her wings. They're dry and swollen, they said. It's nothing, said the toad. How can you say that? demanded the mice. There's nothing worse than not being able to fly, said the bees. Oh, I don't know, said the garter snake. Try losing your feelers, said the cricket. Natta stopped crying and sat up. I feel funny, she said. Suddenly, her wings split open from one end to the other. Oh, what is happening, she cried. The dry, broken wings drifted to the ground. In their place were dark, shapeless things that hung limply down Natta's back. How awful, she said, looking at them over her shoulder. Don't be silly, said the toad. They're your new wings. They don't look like wings, said Natta. They're ugly. They have to dry, said the toad. Natta sat on a stone and tried to smooth the new, wrinkled wings. They were damp and heavy at first, but as she shook them out and spread them in the sun, they began to brighten and flash with colors. Like a rainbow, exclaimed the spider. But will they work? asked the bees. Natta waved her new wings and fluttered into the air. The baby mice ran beneath her, jumping up and down. Lovely, cried the spider. They're perfect, said Natta. What a nice surprise. It happens every year, said the toad. What happens? asked the garter snake. Nobody ever remembers, complained the toad. On the first day of summer, Natta gets new wings. I do, said Natta. What fun! Natta flitted to the cricket and carefully untied his feelers. Next time I'll know what is happening, and I won't be so bad, she promised. You won't remember, said the toad. You never do. Natta laughed. Of course I'll remember, she said. She soared above the flowers and the setting sun glinted on her new wings. The spider rushed to her web to try a new design before dark. The cricket crawled under a leaf and began to chirp. The garter snake yawned and slithered away through the grass. Good night, Natta, called the baby mice, tumbling through their doorway. Good night, you darlings, Natta called back. Little lights twinkled in the grass as the lightning bugs woke up. Natta has new wings, they sang out, launching themselves into the air. They're beautiful. Natta fluttered among the flowers, deciding where to sleep. Thank you, she said politely, snuggling into a rose. But I've always had wings. The toad nodded knowingly. She's forgotten already, she said. Forgotten what? asked the cricket from under his leaf. The toad sighed. Never mind, she said. She settled herself comfortably in the cool, damp flower bed. 
Anyway, she said, Natta will be good tomorrow. Well, of course, said the cricket. She always is. That's the end. Thank you for joining me for Nata.